Good morning, Cowboy Jim here. Thank you so much for um, for turning this on. I, I've been watching my, uh, well, I watch my YouTube channel really closely because it's a, it's a heart thing that I have um, attentiveness to uh, abuse children and uh, the resultant uh, ladies who have grown through that abuse and try to acclimate themselves to living in a, a society that looks upon possibly the lifestyles of the adult ladies who have been abused as children and carry on through marriage and actually through much of their lives. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a grave concern for me because I have seen abuse. I, I have seen abuse since I was a, a child, uh, boarded out and um, things like that. And, and um, I, in my own family, I, I saw uh, uh, anger uh, and love from a, well, just love from a mom who, who, um, who truly was um, one who believed in God. And uh, I have three sisters and um, they're very much uh, inclined to be as my mom was and so too am I. And um, that's a tribute to a, a lady who, who lived her life uh, with the intent of honoring God and caring for people. YouTube, uh, they are in absolute authority over uh, uh, my YouTube channel. And uh, as such, I'm very limited, uh, but I still appreciate the opportunity of being on YouTube. Um, I don't talk about COVID. Uh, um, it's, it's not, it's not looked upon favorably, but I, I do talk about Canadian politics because I haven't been told I can't yet and, um, and so on. Um, if, if you like what I'm trying to do, hit subscribe. If you have friends who, family, who aren't sure whether it's worth taking the time to consider, uh, is God real? Uh, I empathize with you. I have friends who, they're not sure if uh, it's a waste of breath to consider whether God exists. And um, second to that, whether the Son of God is a relative uh, value that could be represented in their lives. And so we tread on and uh, nice day up here in Fort Mac, uh, not too cold, I'd say about minus eight sun shining. And uh, I kind of look forward to this winter being over, but I want to savor every day of my life, every day and in every way possible. Um, never in my life will I get over the joy, uh, the pleasure, the honor of um, having the privilege really of going to Coots and uh, and uh, meeting so many people who represented uh, what I believe in, uh, which is God, country, my fellow Canadians, and the freedom of choice, the freedom that was earned hard 
by my family, uh, Irish uh, family from the, the north end of Ireland. Of course, when Irishmen get over here to Canada, they, they do their very best to forget uh, whether they're from the north or the south because the turmoil that we Irish have lived through uh, in Ireland uh, for centuries um, is something that should not be forgotten, forgotten, but should not be remembered every day either. Um, because life goes on and here in Canada, we're not sure how that life is going to look in the future. We have uh, the most disrespected politician other than Hitler, a uh, few people like that, and Mussolini or whatever. Um, but we have a prime minister that is becoming known throughout the world as possibly the last elected prime minister in Canada because of his actions, his narcissism, his hatred, true hatred of, um, shall we say, a recognizable group of, of individuals of diverse belief systems, people who have made choices uh, in their mind, they were the, the right choices, and that's all that matters. This life that we live, it is our one kick at the cat. I'm pretty sure about that. Evolution. I so enjoyed uh, Charles Darwin. He, uh, he is actually one of my heroes of the faith. He did not put forth the idea of creation, but he did everything in his power to negate uh, intellectual thought, scientific approach to intellectual thought uh, in order to validate the very existence of a creator, what is called intelligent design. And I suppose that his basic issue is the same basic issue that many people over the years, thank God not all scientists, but many people over the years have suffered from in that being. If they were to recognize the deity, uh, the implications of that deity of a creator, uh, they themselves could no longer look in the mirror and declare unto themselves within their own heart, if not by word, but by action, that they themselves were their own gods. It's very interesting, the number of religions throughout the world, and they have the same intent that Satan had in the Garden of Eden when he tempted Eve and when uh, Adam just flat out acquiesced and and Satan's game plan was to say, if you consume this fruit, you will have the knowledge of good and evil. And if you eat from the tree uh, of everlasting life, you'll never die. And in essence, you'll become God yourselves, your own gods. Well, Darwin, he, he propagated several ideas. Uh, uh, there are about three of them that I just so admire. 
I am not uh, one who would blindly set aside uh, a regional type of evolution uh, change within the species, uh, adapting to their environment, um, growing a little longer beak, that sort of thing. If you're a bird that has decided they prefer the flavor and the taste of certain nectar within the confines of a, a flower that is elongated and they have to reach a long way inside to get it. Or uh, say the monarch butterfly that it, it didn't evolve, but strange. Uh, it had been given by that intelligent designer. I, I believe he's a uh, uh, well, this is shaky. I believe he's a, an extraterrestrial being, an alien from a different universe, and he and his son came to this earth, saw the potential of it, and realized this, this galaxy, this system, uh, planetary system, lends itself to to life human life the monarch butterfly though it never communicates with its parent in a direct manner the parent dies before the 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 newborn uh, begins its uh, experiential life of breathing air but that newborn monarch butterfly uh, comes spring, it, it, it flies into the air and it heads north to Alberta, Canada and other places across Canada that have milkweed, which is their favorite. Uh, they like milkweed about as much as I like uh, strip loin steak and uh and so they they come north they repeat the cycle so you can call that mm, evolving that's okay i don't mind it doesn't matter to me because you see it doesn't matter to me at all uh what your belief systems encompass because my job is merely to live my life in the hope uh, in the, the the need I have within my heart to represent to the best of my ability what a man who chooses to believe in God could look like. I don't mean this bad, but I mean in heart, in action, in word, in deed. Darwin got my attention several years ago when he said, uh, this is about a hundred and some odd years ago, he said, uh, he said, uh, don't, uh, don't you worry about those black people over in Africa becoming athletes. Oh, they're, they're plenty strong, but they don't have the skull capacity for the development of a brain, the room for the development of a brain that uh, would have an acuity that would allow them to be good athletes. <laughs> he sure blew that one. Uh, then he said, you know, Asian people, well, they're never going to be really good in business. Too short. You have to be tall to be good in business. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he was a bit of a dummy. But you know, the problem that he experienced was that he looked through the eyes of his day. He looked through the uh, mental acuity that he had to work with. He was pretty brave. But he looked from a standpoint of bias, from a standpoint 
of self-indulgence, uh, ignorance, really. We have a prime minister, his, uh, his name, Justin Trudeau. He has become a knowing all over Canada. And uh, that's a good thing because you, you, you might say that's, come on, he was knowing. No, actually, he wasn't knowing. Uh, we knew of him, but now we're starting to know him, starting to know of him. Uh, what his game plan is, uh, his heroes, we're beginning to get to know who his heroes are. That would be the Chinese Communist Party. He accorded them great reverence because they knew how to control a people. His last name's Trudeau, but mm, I doubt Pierre Elliott Trudeau was his hero. It may well have been, who knows? I'm gonna leave it alone there. We all heard that stuff about Cuban cigars. Sure, sure looks like um, he'd been smoking a Cuban cigar all his life. Perhaps not. But throughout the world, um, the world, they're watching Canada. They're watching our truckers. They're watching families, like down at Coots. Uh, they're watching the truckers in Ottawa. And they're watching the arrogance of a young man who's probably never worked a day in his life. Just given everything. And now he believes he deserves everything. There are a lot of people throughout the world that are looking at Canada saying this could be the first democracy that I'm aware of. Must be others, but not that I'm aware of. I'm a trucker, I'm a rancher. where democ democracy was set aside for a dictatorial rule by a political leader, Hitler. He, he, he certainly had his day. Trudeau, he is having his day. He... I know I've said this several times, he would meet with Black Lives Matter and march with them. And other groups then, well, I wouldn't march with, but I, I wouldn't condemn them for marching, LGB community. That's not my, it's not my lifestyle. It's not my way. It's theirs. It's their freedom of choice. But Trudeau would not even meet with the Canadian truckers. I have to watch this time. This is a uh, good, I'm still okay. Um, I listened to the NDP uh, sing, I think his name is, Sikh guy looks like. Uh, oh, didn't he sound wonderful? No, he didn't. He sounded sickening. I wonder if he even met with that other wonderful Sikh gentleman who had been running truck in Canada for 14 years and had a depth of heart that he still maintained his Sikh belief system. I'd like to meet that man one day, that truck driver. I run truck in the whole mine, or in the, 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 the mines up here in Fort McMurray when I have the privilege of having a job. I don't know, maybe my life's going to take a different direction, who knows? Canadian people, your freedoms are being removed, eroded, taken away from you. And uh, you're in Ottawa, you're complaining about the horns honking. And uh, now with the Emergencies Act, uh, Trudeau in his self-righteous dictatorial arrogance is uh, threatening to put families, uh, family, uh, men, women, truck drivers in jail 
they are recommending that those truck drivers who took their children with them, why not? I mean, would you leave them at home so they can watch a computer screen and do their schooling? I mean, COVID's going to kill us all. Really? I've had it. I've had my shots too. Listen, uh, God bless you. I won't drag this on. Uh, you look at Trudeau, recognize the potential is he may be the new dictator in Canada and the world is watching and the world is watching. Humble yourself and pray, children. That's your only hope. There's no hope in hell. And I do not believe there's any hope in Trudeau either. Not a lick. God bless.